first childhood memory believing in myself as an artist would be probably would wake up on Saturdays and Club Kiboko was the only show that would show some art, some cartoons. So you had to wake up like at nine and the art segment was probably one of the first ones and then they finish off with cartoons. So you really have to wake up early to find that. And sometimes they draw a boat, they draw something. And I remember my first drawing that stuck with me was a ship. And from that painting or a drawing of a ship that was being illustrated, I took that and I was like, maybe I can do that. And then I went to draw so many ships, like so, so many. And that's when I first started believing that maybe I can be an artist. There was expression in that. There was, it was fulfilling thing, um, something imagination coming into paper. And then now my grandpa, my grandpa, my late grandpa was like, but you know you can draw something else other than just a boat. And that's now where my interest in art kind of sparked. And just from there was, I think, so I was about eight years old maybe. Yeah. So uh, I, I had done some art lessons in school, in high school. I did two years of art. And now there we were, we were introduced to so many ways of expression and then expression with your media. So from charcoal to acrylic, and we studied various, you know, various artists from Van Gogh to Picasso to Leonardo. And um, it was clear that each artist had like their expression. They had their their vision and in a way what like for Van Gogh his emotions showed in his colors and even in the way the art came so when he was in love when he was depressed you could see that in his art so now with that I kind of asked myself what is my identity as an artist so it started with that asking and then I was in Canada finishing my last year of high school and that was when like I decided man I don't want to keep just drawing faces or people I want to explore and sometimes the emotions I'm feeling I just there's no words to describe it but I'm feeling it so it exists so that's when I went into pattern drafting and abstract expression. Because now to, to express those complex emotions I was feeling so that I can go through healing them, um, but not give a name to it, not give an, an expectation of how it's supposed to look just for it to grow and flow. So that's how my identity as my patterns, as my art started. Wow, like <laughs> it's, it's been a lot, but I feel like it's been my greatest blessing because now I have very clean energy around me. I have to be very intentional with the people I let into my space and even intentional with my business. And, you know, I can't allow myself to, if I let myself not do that work, it's not gonna be done. I had a vision, I had a dream it now became my responsibility to make it happen. And everything I do, who I love, <laughs> who I spend my time with, spending that time affects my business, my art, and my livelihood, and my architecture. So it's been, sometimes it's been lonely, cause like you find your space, you're in a space and it just feels like it's you. But it's okay, cause then it's been nice because the people who have then come into my life from that have always been intentional to help me build my business. It's not been about me alone because there are 
places I've reached, I couldn't move forward. But because of my intentions and being very, like my visions are clear with what I want and my manifestations, I've been able to manifest people in my life that help me create a balance between having fun, loving, and going to school, architecting and arting. And it doesn't feel like one part of my life is missing. Uh, my love for teas, probably I can credit it to my origin, my Luya origin for sure. And also growing up here and it's cold, but also learning in terms of the benefits teas can have to your health, just with the antioxidants and cleansing. That's where I start and getting a bit older into my teens. Because sometimes you start feeling like your body is clogging, your body is blotted. And not allow learning teas help with that. That started my journey with teas. Um, so <laughs> I'll always have three to four types with me. I'll have neem tea. I'll have a mixed berry or mixed herbal. Um, tea with me. I'll have chamomile. Those are my must-haves. And then I'll add maybe a ginger lemon. 